What's up guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Basco Shot, an average player and today I would like to show you a crazy competition I come up with to clear As Golem stage 10 hard in less than 35 turns, okay? We know that we're gonna have this new tournament where you have to make points based on your turn count so I decided to try and and I found this comp. It works. It's not for everybody though. Like the champions requirement are insane. You need like void champions and you need like blessings. So um, if if you're gonna stay with me until the end of the video, I hope you're just gonna enjoy because I know unfortunately you can't do this if you don't have the champions. But I know a lot of people have these champions. So hopefully I can help some of you out there to do this comp. So, my composition resolved in basically them attacking, attacking, attacking the boss and he's gonna re retaliate to me by using his secret skill but I'm gonna use two champions to protect my team and the two best champions to protect my team are two very famous champions, are Demon Eaters, right here. These are Demon Eaters that I use in my unkillable clan boss team, okay? I haven't changed their speeds the fastest one is at 265 and the slowest is at 245. After this, I'm gonna use my Seer. I have a very powerful Seer. Six star blessing. I ignore a lot of defense and I only need two buff, the unkillable and the block debuff on my whole team in order to one shot the waves. So if you can't do this with Seer, you're not gonna be able to do this um, challenge because you can't afford to bring another champion that can put buff or they can put decrease defense or weaken and stuff like that okay so you need a very 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 strong seer i'm pretty sure my seer is the over 330 uh, yeah 335 uh, uh critical damage okay so if you can one shot the waves you can probably try but the thing is you need also like another top top champion i'm gonna show you in a second let me get karma first and then i'm gonna use my super strong acrisia okay so here another thing i got a six star blessing acrisia very powerful very fast uh you probably don't need it like with the six star crash rent to um do this you can easily cap the boss's dungeons with just like you know little set or uh, savage set or even without those you just need to start critical damage uh but yeah you need um, very strong seer very strong acrisia and you need two main eaters they are very rare i know a lot of people can use the unkillable teams they bad either because they don't have two of them i was one of them like probably up to last year like a year ago i, I pulled my second one after three years so hopefully you guys can pull it one day. Let me show you the run. I'm gonna just manual the run all the way and then I'm gonna show you the preset and I'm gonna do a fast run to show you um, my quickest times, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna show you what I do here. So basically I'm just gonna a one with the fastest manita and then I'm gonna, let's just use the A2, why not? I'm gonna just a one with Kaimar. And I'm gonna use the unkillable, the block debuff with the slowest mini there, and then I'm gonna nook them down with Seer. Now, here I'm gonna use the unkillable from the fastest mini there. I'm gonna just use the one here, and now I'm gonna reset everything. I'm gonna reset uh, the fastest mini there that just use the skill, and I'm gonna reset the slowest and the Seer like that. And then I'm gonna just use the one, and then I'm gonna nook them down. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the next phase. So here I just gonna use the one. I'm just gonna use the one of Acrisia. And then I'm gonna do the a one from Kaima. And then I'm gonna use the block defense and unkillable from the slowest minute, okay? And then the boss is gonna attack me. Now I'm gonna attack the boss again. 
attack again. And now here, Acrisia is gonna use a, a three, and I'm gonna still disturb Mido from the boss. It's irresistible, like that. The boss is gonna go, but my team is still protected. Then I'm gonna use a one, a one, and then Acrisia is gonna go and use a, a two, like that. The boss is gonna go again and slam me hard. And then it's gonna go again. I think I broke it twice, that's why, okay? But doesn't matter. I'm gonna attack the boss again. And, oh my god, again. And now here, this uh, fastest minute is gonna put the unkillable. Then the boss is gonna go again. We don't care about that. A1, A1, Acrisia A1. And that's it guys, this is pretty much the uh, the thing. I'm just gonna select the boss because I'm gonna show you the only issue with this team, all right? I'm gonna show you in the next run, uh, the next run I'm gonna do just full auto. I'm gonna show you the preset. All right, that's it. Yeah, 35 turn. My record is 34, one minute and 10 second. Also, let me show you, uh, actually no. Press the wrong button. So, if we come here, I'm gonna shoot the preset. It's just basically what I just did. Um, yeah, this one here. So, this is the preset, all right? So, the fastest minita is only a one, the slowest open with the unkillable. Um, Kaima is just gonna use a one. Akrisia, you can open with this or use this. Doesn't matter what Akrisia is gonna do. Just don't use this one. Uh, and uh, Sir is gonna open with the Karma Burn. And then in the second wave, fastest minute are open with the skill, and Karma has to use the reset. Doesn't matter what Akrisia do. Um, this uh, the slowest minute is gonna just use a one, and then Sir is gonna use the Karma Burn. And the third wave, this is a very important one. I probably waste like 300 energy just to understand the um, turn order. Basically, fastest man either open with A1, and then you let him use the A1, and then you let him use the A2. Okay? And then um, the order is that after this, Akris is gonna go and use the one on the boss, and then Karma use just the one. He's not gonna even have the time to use this because the boss dies like in the five rotation, so five between like five cycle, and this skill has a set, six turn cooldown. Uh, with C, just block these two skill. Don't put like um, weaken on the boss, and don't use karma burn because you can't predict when you're gonna use it. So you can't like time it because the A one uh, has chance to grant an extra turn so you don't know she might go three in a row at the first turn and then she's gonna use karma burn and you can't afford that she'll just block everything and then yeah the best um the uh, slowest minute is it has to open with the a three um with the a two uh, sorry a three and basically um your uh, slowest means has to be faster than the boss so you have to go at 245 the boss is at 240 just open with that and sell, like you know keep it like first priority but you're not gonna have time to use it again anyway and that's the deal okay let me show you a quick run it should take me like i say one minute and ten second and uh, that's it the only thing uh, that i have to um fix is i need to find a way where i don't have to target the boss because at the moment if i don't target the boss Akris is not gonna go for the boss, so I'm still working on it. I don't know if, um, uh, you know, like I'm gonna come up with it like right now, but as soon as I come up with some ideas, maybe some of you might help me leave a comment if you know how to get away with it, and then um, I'm gonna probably make another like speed tuning, uh, like you know, maybe I have to adjust the way the many that goes to try to make sure that. I don't have to tackle the boss because otherwise you can't farm this overnight. You just, I'm just gonna use this comp for basically when that tournament is gonna go up. You know, if it takes me like five minutes to do five run, it's alright. You know, like 
and that means I just need to be in front of it and just target the boss. I might do it. If the rewards are like good enough, I might do it. otherwise I don't care. But it's just cool to see the boss get slammed, guys. Like, you know, it's such an annoying boss. Like, even sometimes when I do the solo with uh, Artak, sometimes I feel like, you know, I can feel maybe once every 30, 40 rounds. It's still annoying me. Like, it's so unpredictable. The way it, ha it hits you is like, it's so unfair, like, it's not even funny. Okay, it took me a minute and 23. I don't know if I have the... Um, um, the What's it called? Limited frame range on. Um, I'm going to check after this run. Let's run a second time. Just to show you that it's like 100%. With no issue. Okay, I see target the boss. Let's see what happened here. Should be Osmo. I haven't felt like a run so far. If I target the boss, if I don't target the boss, it might fail. Okay. Let me know what you guys think about this comp. Uh, obviously, <laughs> it's not for everybody. I was lucky enough to pull Acrisia the week after uh, she came out, and then. Uh, probably a few months ago I bought this pack uh, 100 uh, soul stones and I literally found her on my fourth last shard all right so I was like, so lucky and it literally changed my account because now PV for me is not an issue anymore I can just use a crazy and like melt everything that's it no worries you can take as many turns as you want as far as Chris, she is still alive there is no issue okay guys so this is the team let's sell this and um just let me show you the speed quickly because i think i haven't talked about this speed so basically um 265 245 the that's the minutes that i use in the clan boss and then I have camera 249. I want him to go between the man eaters. And I also um and I also have like I don't have boots on him. He's usually way fast. I think I'm missing like 40 or 50 45 speed on him. Um I'm running just five six, five uh, set um five artifacts on him right now. And then see I have a pretty fast for the series 133 and a crisis is at 255 okay so if you want to try it go for it let me know how you go leave me a message um yeah guys hopefully you guys can use this comp because at the moment uh, if you go on the team of the week you see that pretty much everyone is farming with those teams and uh, those teams are like 100 percent most likely but they are, they are around like 75 turn, maybe two minutes run. Maybe this one can be maybe a minute and a half, but still like around 70 plus turn. Maybe, yeah, 70 plus, I reckon. And, um, and yeah, this, that's it, guys. You basically, what I'm doing basically, I'm, I'm basically going through those um, threshold as quick as possible because Acrisia has skill that um two of her skill do double hit so she deals 10 percent plus 10 percent that's pretty much you know 20 percent and because i use a one on the boss first let's just say i deal 10 percent with the a one the boss will be at 90 percent so when i go next i will go to 70 in between here and then i will go 50 and i will go 40 because 50 plus the one is 10 percent that's 40 and then 40 to 20 and then that's it the boss is dead so that's how i managed to if i will open up with the um one of the double skill i would have go straight away to the threshold and it doesn't work like that i tried many times i failed and uh, this is the way guys i'm gonna let you know in a future video if i come up with a solution to go around the targeting the boss but uh, as far as I know now, it's very hard and uh, I'm just going to try with that. See how I go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.